In the Gungeon community, there is always an argument on who is the best character. Some say the Marine, some say Gunslinger, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and some say the Pilot. Weirdos. But what about the most broken character? What I mean by that is that they're not necessarily the best character, as in not being viable in scenarios, but they're really good with certain items that breaks the game. So who is it? Bullet? Hunter? Convict? Who am I kidding? Read the title of it. It's what I So, what is the robot, and why is he so broken? So first, who is the robot? The robot is a playable character in Enter the Gungeon with a goofy idle animation and a funny ah! animation. And you are wondering, how do I unlock this funny goofy character that you proclaim to be so broken? You have to bring the busted television to the blacksmith in the forge. This item can be found in the first elevator room at Gungeon proper as soon as the first shortcut is unlocked. Oh wow, Snazzy Mars, this character looks so good and I can't wait to play him. Well, hold your horses, my, my dudes, because he is not as good as I say he is. Let's first talk about his gimmick. He has no health, and he can only use armor. There are upsides to this, like having a blink every time you get hit, and technically armor being cheaper than hearts, and some other features I will talk about later. But there are downsides to this too, like not having any permanent health upgrades, and not being able to use vampires, and also armor being more rare on room drops. You can't save armor, so what you have on is what you got. And also, Robot has this very, and I mean very, obscure gimmick of having it so every time you pick up a piece of junk, you get a 5% damage increase. So if you really wanted to, you could beat the game with only your starter weapon. Well, if you're into sadomasochism, that is. And speaking of which, I need to talk about Robot's starting gear. It starts off with the Robot's right hand, a really amazing starter weapon due to the amount of ammo it has and fast firing rate. His active item, Coolant Leak, spews a line of water in front of you. It clears up fire, goo, poison, and cheese. And combine that with his batteries, and you got a shockingly good combo. So what makes him so powerful and broken? Well, let me tell you, it's astonishing what this metal boy can do. Okay, slight oversight. So when I was making the script, before I had two guns on this list, but it turns out the Gilded Hydra didn't work as I thought it would on the robot, so there's only one gun on this list that makes the robot really overpowered. And that weapon is, drumroll please, the Knight's Gun. Trust me, when we get into actives and passives, it goes from the Knight's Gun being powerful to just it being overshowered by spice. Spice is so dumb. So the Knight's Gun, it's a really good gun in general, but why is it so good on Robot? Well, it has a unique mechanic that whenever reloading on an empty magazine, it will dig an item from the ground. This can range from money to an item. I'll put a full list of the items you can get on screen, but now I need to talk about well, how the digging system works. When digging, you can have what is called a good dig in the Wikipedia. A good dig is considered anything other than getting less than $5 or junk. However, in the span of having the knight's gun, you can only have 5 good digs, and after that you can only have the first things I mentioned earlier. But remember what I said earlier, that junk is on the list? And that is not a good dig, so that means after you get your 5 good digs, you can just farm junk and to get extra damage. Also, if you noticed, spice is on the list of good digs. I'm saving spice for last, you guys just aren't prepared for it. <sighs> we now start to go into what I like to call bullshit territory. And we start off with the Riddle of Lead. If you've been the Gungeon Discord server, you've probably seen somebody talk about this combo. So, Riddle of Lead, yeah, it gives you 30% damage increase, cool. Makes you dodge roll faster, cool. Makes you faster, cool. Gives you more health, cool. It's good. But, there's another thing I didn't mention. When on less than one health, you have a 50% chance to take no damage. 
a robot house, no health. So not only are you getting all the benefits, you're literally becoming a freaking demi. Okay, no, I should probably save that for when we get onto it. But no, seriously, the only problem about this item is that the method of unlocking it. I mean, beating the lich makes sense for getting this item. I just think it might be a little bit overkill. But is it a joke about drug overdose? Spice is complete and utter bullshit on robots. Spice is an item that whenever you take it, you lose health but get more damage. But when you take it once, you get it later in your runs. Robot has no health, so you can literally break the game by getting so much damage it increases. And not only when that, when it raises your curse, jammed enemies not only do one damage because you have armor. I can't deal with how bullshit this is. Did he seriously not know how to end the video, so he used the most basic trope known to YouTube? That's pretty sad.